All right, so welcome to the first episode of Idea Simi. Idea Simi is a channel which I have set it up um, to create unpaid and honest review for all the food tours around Singapore. Every video, I invite a new guest to join me on my food tour. Today, I have Pauline from Poela here with me. Hello, hi Ryan. Hi everyone, I'm Pauline from Poela. Uh, I also like to chia, that's why I recently started a new Facebook page um, doing live to intro nice snacks to everyone. So Ryan, what are we doing today? We are going on a food tour right now. Let's go. Okay. So what are we having today? Since I just got back from Australia not long ago and carbonara is my favorite dish, we'll be having carbonara today. Okay, sure. Alright, so today we're going to try our first carbonara. This carbonara is from Western and Salad Bar at Zhongsan Mall for below $7. Let me take a nice photo. Oh hey, can? Actually, there's a lot of bacon. Yep. And it's a different way of presentation as well because of the tomato and the garnish. Mmm. Mmm. The sauce is a bit on the salty the, side, right? Yeah, the, mm. big, the bacon as well. I, I see. Okay. So, is it what you like as in, in Australia? Mm, for me, I like something which really hits you for the first mouth mm. and then the, the taste just die down on its own but this taste will linger on your mouth for too long on the creamier side. Ah. So it makes you thirsty very quickly. Uh, out of 5 stars, right? Yeah. Uh, how much will you give? How many stars will you give? For me, considering that it's for from a hawker food court, like a food court mm -hmm. I'll give it maybe three stars. Okay, I think um, presentation and then the taste wise, I will also give it a three star. Yeah. Wow. So we finished the first one already. Now it's time to try the second one. Okay. So the second carbonara is from Stacks Cafe at Chong Sam Mall. This is below eleven dollars. Wow. What is this on top of it? It looks like bacon or looks like it's a big it's bacon oh. and oh it's mushroom as well. There's oh. mushroom in Okay. Alright, so let's try it. Yep. Mm. Mm. So how is it? Um this one is a bit more to my liking because the cream is not too mm. thick. Not too salty. Mm. This bacon tastes different. Yeah. And it it's a different cut. Ah, okay. Because it, it's not salty. Mm. It's really like um a real like the bar guan feel. Yes, yes, correct. Wow, okay. I, I like this one. I like this one. Okay. So originally I thought the thing that was black in colour was actually the burnt bacon, but I was wrong. So it was actually mushroom. Ah, I see. So it's time to give it a rating now, right? <laughs> okay. The presentation is not too appealing. Um, I would I would give it four stars for the taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four out of five. I'll give it a three and a half. Okay. <laughs> because of the taste, that is better than the first one. Mm. All right. So now we're moving on to the third carbonara dish. So this third carbonara is from Ashton at Safra Tapayo, which comes with a soup of the day and a garlic bread for $10.90. The bacon is a bit on the tiny side. Yeah, yeah they, shred, they shred the bacon, right? Shred the bacon and I, I think they just garnish some of the parsley on top, the cheese and black pepper. Mm. And the sauce is not a lot also. Because I think because of the sauce, it's not there. It's, it's a bit dry then. I can't really taste the creamy. This is on the same level as the second one which we've just tried. Mm. The one at um, Stacks Cafe. Mm -hmm. okay. So I think they use the same type of cream because I'm, I'm personally I'm very sensitive to dairy. So if the cream is cooked, I can taste whether it's very strong in taste. It's more to my nose first. Mm. So this is pretty much good for me, same as the Stacks Cafe. Okay, sure. And it's not salty Yeah. Yeah. at the same time. But um, Presentation wise, it looks. <laughs> um, Maybe they can do more garnish or more yeah, seasoning. Yeah, it looks a bit more simpler. For me, I'll give three and a half, I say, as Stacks Cafe, because they have quite some area to work on, such as the appearance wise, even though it's a takeaway dish. For this, I'll give three and a half. 
yeah because it's not too salty and then um but it's on the drier side and the presentation is not there okay so this carbonara is the fourth one that we're gonna try today it's from old habits at safra mount faber and it's 15 dollars and 90 cents for this beef carbonara wow this packaging is very unique don't be deceived by its look this is my uncle lauren's favorite oh, okay let's try Huh? This pasta has more ingredients in it as well Mushroom, mm. beef, rocket, tomato Really cannot be deceived mm. by its look Yeah Definitely not the same as Zi Cha store mm. And then that's a different layer of um, flavouring mm -hmm. Like um, first you will taste like the pasta Then followed by the egg um, the pasta is a bit softer for me. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the moment I tried it, it gives me a little like um, exploring of taste. Mm. So first the pasta hits you, followed by the rocket, mm. the beef, mm. and then once you're reaching the end of the taste, you will you will start you will start to taste the different pepper and the salt, salt seasoning as well. Mm. So is it time to review how many stars you give as well? Okay. If the spaghetti can mm. be a bit um, hard, um, I would okay. I would give it um, four and a half for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just because of the pasta, yeah, the texture. If not, you give it a five. If yes. The pasta is good. Yes. For me, I'll give it a four compared to the first three because mm. it brings it basically wraps up and gives a different twist to carbonara. And personally, for myself, I like I like these shirts which are creative. Mm. Okay, so this will be the last carbonara of the day that we're gonna try. This is from Collins at St. George's Road for $8.50. It looks dry on the... Um, mm -hmm. not much sauce. Is carbonara supposed to be this way? So by right, the classic carbonara, we use egg for it. You only add in the egg when you off the heat. So these are all basically new twists that businesses mm. or many of the new entrepreneurs try to, try to change like the dish mm. and make it more funky. It's a bit different from the rest that we had mm -hmm. um, because of the sauce, it's really not much and they also add the onion Yeah, they add onion mm. So, personally, I've tried to add onion as well mm. So, it just gives you a sweeter version instead of a creamy version It's not salty There's not much taste to the yeah. bacon as well So, it's yeah. just meat itself Yes How many stars will you give? Um, for the price, presentation mm -hmm. and taste, I'll give it a 3. I'll give it a 3 as well. Alright, so Pauline, after trying out the dish today, which is your favourite? Oh, wow, we have tried so many. Um, I would think that the one from Old Habits at Mount Favour, um, the taste-wise, is my favourite. Um, but just that, like I mentioned, the pasta just needs a bit to be a bit more harder on the texture perhaps because we actually pack it so maybe that's why the, the texture actually got affected along so it got the way soggy a little after. yeah correct yeah that's how i think um all right same for me as well so if i would go something more funkier version i'll go for old habits mm. that's why i gave it four stars because mm. of the different appearance the taste as well but if I were to go for something more classic wise, I'll go for Stax Cafe. Ah. So okay. very simple and very classic. Mm, cool. Okay, so I would like to thank Pauline today for joining me on my first episode of Aichi Asini. So you can follow Pauline on her Facebook live as well. She do videos on every Wednesday. And I would like to elaborate that this is an unpaid video. So these are all paid using our own cost to do food tours around Singapore to provide you a better an honest review about the food that is served in Singapore. Okay, so next thing moving on. If you like cooking as well, you can stay tuned on Safra Tampani's page on 10 October this Saturday at 11 a.m. to see me prepare a chicken breast carbonara. And I also run another YouTube channel. So you can click on the link on the left to see me prepare videos every Sunday. A different dish it can be Western or Singaporean. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon.